my line of work is uh, I work for Head Start. I work for a nutrition department because we have a lot of children that have allergies, uh, special diets. So I have to make sure that each child gets their uh, meal accommodated. Um, and because if they don't, then that's going to be on me, you know. So I, I have to make sure and I have to uh, pull reports, um, you know, contact the parents. Uh, we have a lot of kids that are uh, vegetarian, lactose intolerant. Uh, so we need to make sure we have those special meals for them because we do have a central kitchen that cooks the meals. And um, we feed over a thousand kids. So we just want to make sure that those meals are there for the kids all the time. My best attribute would be patience. I think patience um, takes you a long ways. You know, a lot of people don't have patience, especially right now with the whole COVID. You know, um, people don't have patience. You know, you have to wait in line. Um, and, you know, some people get upset. Um, patience could be anywhere, in a relationship, at your job, you know, at home, you know, with your children. And um, patience take, takes you a long ways, you know, and I've learned, you know, I've been with my husband for a lot of years, and um, I think patience has a lot to do with it. And we have a really great relationship because of that. La gente um, siempre me pregunta que este um, que tenga otro hijo. Um, en la este, cultura mexicana, um, you know, muchas familias tienen cinco o seis niños. Y you no know, mi mamá tuvo cinco, pero um, yo quise tener más, dos o tres, pero mi esposo como que sí, como que no quería. Pero um, nomás tuvimos una hija um, y pienso que fue lo más mejor por nosotros um, porque um, tener muchos hijos um, es muy difícil, especialmente um, si los dos tienen que trabajar, el esposo y la esposa. Um, es muy difícil que, you know, que los dos papás estén con los hijos y um, los dos papás tienen que ir a trabajar, dejar los hijos para que los cuiden y, y no tienen una relación con los niños porque siempre están con um, la babysitter que los esté cuidando. So, yo pienso que fue lo más mejor tener una hija y um, como dije en la cultura mexicana siempre hay cinco o seis niños y um, estoy conforme con una hija. Y, um, what I'm completely and oh, I'm done with would be, I guess, the country um, being so divided right now. It's just so overwhelming and it's really sad, you know, it makes me upset. I don't even want to go on social media sometimes because it's just, it gets me so angry, you know, and I know I can't change people's views because politics and religion, it's like, you can't argue with people, but I always want to throw myself out there and I know I put stuff on social media sometimes, but I just want to prove my point, you know, and I remember growing up, I didn't have to deal with all this, you know, and, you know, it really sucks that now, you know, we have our kids dealing with this, you know, the whole world being divided, and it's not supposed to be like that, you know, we should be a country that's united that's what makes america you know by diversity you know having latinos you know having you know different cultures we have different foods that's what we enjoy and i think that's the part that just gets me upset you know but hope i think um the worst thing about being a female is um uh, just like you have to be a certain image, um, you have to look a certain way, um, you know, you have to be skinny, you have to, you know, weigh a certain weight, and um, I remember growing up, like, I didn't have social media, it was just how you look, you're beautiful, how you are, and it really sucks that, um, you know, nowadays, you know, girls have to deal with this because... 
my daughter had to write an essay about that, about self-image. And she told me, she's like, Mom, she's like, I'm so happy that, like, I love myself. You know, I don't have to worry about, you know, posting pictures, like, looking a certain way. And I think that's, it's really hard for women to do that. You know, especially when you're aging, you know, you're aging, you know, you want to look a certain way, you know, you want to make your husband um, happy, you know, like, you don't want your husband looking at other young girls, you know, and, you know, in every relationship, everybody goes through that. So, um, I think you just have to make the best out of it and, um, you know, just don't listen to social media. Just be yourself, you know, love your body. You know, there's people that don't have one leg, one hand. And um, just, you know, just love yourself. And social media is really bad right now, but just be, be yourself. The, the person that has had the biggest impact in my life, I would say, would be my daughter. Um, I had her at a really young age, and all I wanted to be was a great mom, you know? And I was 16 when I had her. It was really hard. I had to go back to school. She was four months old. And in my mind, I just always wanted to be a good mom for her. You know, that made, that makes me feel good. So, um, and even though, you know, she's 23 right now, like, I still want to be a good mom. Like, I still want to do stuff that she's going to be like, oh, wow, you know, my mom did this. Like, I still want her to be proud of me. And she tells me, she's like, mom, you're such a great mom. You know, when I was small, you never left me, you know, with other people. Like, I was never the type, like, oh, I'm going to go out to a club, you know, I'm going to leave her. Um, n never, never. I was with her 24-7 because she was my priority and I wanted to be the best mom. The biggest challenge in life, um, well, I went through it already. That's when I lost my 40 pounds three years ago. So that was a big challenge, you know, um, just gaining weight. It's easy to gain it, but it's hard to lose it, you know, and I felt like I needed help. So I went to go see a nutritionist and I learned a lot. Um, I'm not perfect. I didn't do it to look like a model. I did it for myself because I wanted to be happy within. And um, that was a big challenge in my life because I think the way I did it, I did it the right way to lose weight. So it wasn't an easy, you know, losing weight. Um, so that was a big challenge for me and I'm happy now. I'm happy the way I look and um, I try to be healthy. I know it's hard, you know, or you have fast food, you know, but um, it's one step at a time and you can't, um, you can't always be like, oh, well, I'm not gonna have a slice of pizza and I'm not gonna have that, why? You only live once, life's too short. You can still have it, you know, just smaller portions and just enjoy it, you know? But that was a big challenge for me. Okay, so the biggest lesson in life that has taught me is don't take things for granted. Um, you know, my husband lost his brother and that was a big lesson. Um, you learn to appreciate family and um, I was there for him all the time. And it taught me that I need to appreciate my family and um, don't get mad about dumb things, you know, just continue. Um, he was very close to his brother and um, that was a, it taught us a, a, it taught me a big lesson, you know, and um, he's good, he's good right now, he's doing good, I'm proud of him, but um, just, you know, Losing a family member could really, really um, break break you down. It can really break you down. And I think if you don't have the um, right person um, to be by your side and just support you, I think that makes it hard. Um, and he thanks me for it. You know, he tells me, thank you so much, Jax. You know, like, you're always there for me. Um, but that was a big lesson for me. And um, we went through it together, and of course we're never going to forget him. He's in our minds all the time, you know, especially his birthday's coming up this month. It's going to be his birthday, 
and um, I think that's what makes it hard every year because he loved Halloween and we would all get together and just celebrate his birthday. But, mm -hmm. Yes, don't take things for granted. Um, I think the word that describes me would be genuine. I'm very genuine um, with people. What you see is what you get. Um, if I do a favor, if I do anything, um, I'm there for you. Um, I'm a people pleaser. You know, I love to please people. Um, and just, you know, just be yourself. Be genuine. Don't be fake. You know, um, because at the end, it's not. It's not good. It's not good. So genuine describes me. In 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 fuego, este. Um, Para mí es, es como algo, um, como la lumbre. La lumbre llega rápido. You know, tienes que estar ahí, tienes que hacer lo que tienes que hacer. Y este, um, estar preparada, porque ahí viene el fuego. Ahí viene la lumbre. Ok, so the best word that describes what the view at this time would be um, just stress. Um, feeling so stressed every day. Um, I know that COVID is not that bad right now, like it was before, but I wake up every morning and I'm like, oh my God, do I have it? You know, like, you know, um, it really sucks because, you know, you really want to do things with your family, but you can't. Um, you know, life has, this has really taught, I'm guessing, everybody a lesson. Um, again, to be patient, you know, you have to be patient, um, as long as your family is still there, that's all that matters. Um, a lot of people are worried, like, oh, well, I can't do my regular thing, but it's okay, because as long as your family don't, you know, get this virus, your it, it should be fine, but it's just very stressful, and, you know, the other day I woke up, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm not feeling good, but do I have it? It's like, it's it's hard. It's really hard and stressful. I do see an optimistic um, feature in this country um, because I have hope. And uh, we need change in this country. So um, I do see it because we had it before, you know, and um, we didn't have to be dealing through this whole, you know, um, the dividing of this country, you know, so, you know, I think having hope, too, is really good, because if you don't, then you, you can't look forward to something if you don't have hope, so it would be hope.